What's up everyone, welcome to your ninth C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use a function that returns a value. So first of all let's clean up our old uh, tutorial. We'll get rid of that function, get rid of this stuff that we don't need and get rid of this old function so all we have is the basics now the first thing that we're going to want to do is type in our function prototype and to do that type what ty kind of function it's going to be name your function I'm going to name mine dog years because what we're going to be doing is converting dog years to people years and then type in what kind of variable you're going to use in it so I'm going to be making an integer function that returns an integer Remember last time it was void because we didn't return anything. This time we're going to return an integer. Our name of our function is dog years, and it's going to have an integer variable in it. So once you get that, the next thing we're going to want to do is make our function actually make our function. To do that first, uh, you got to make your function header and all you need to do to do that is just pretty much copy what you put for your function prototype but in your uh, parameters here you're going to want to type actually what the variable is and my variable is just going to be called dog now let's build our function this is the function title pretty much now let's type some instructions for it in your curly braces type in what we're going to want the function to do and anytime you're using a return value you type in the word return since we want to be getting a value out of it and since you convert dog years to people years by timesing it by seven actually I think that's what you do I'm gonna type seven times and uh, um, the symbol for times is that little star above the nine on the uh, keypad or above the eight on your regular type uh, keyboard and seven times dog so what this is going to do is whenever it has a variable it's going to take that and times it by seven and return our number so say we typed in seven for the variable it's going to times that by seven and it's going to spit out 49 so now let's put this to work in our main function let's use this function let me give you some space so you can see what's new and what's old. The first thing we want to do is make a new variable called years. And this is going to become the input that the user is going to make. So since it's an integer, put int years. And let, let's just uh, make output so the user knows what's going on. See out for output. And let's just put enter your dogs age semicolon to end it and let me just make a space right there and in our next line we'll have a space so the user can input the age tip that type C in for input and then type in years and what this is does whatever number the user enters it's gonna assign that value to years so actually let me just type in n line right there just so it looks neater you know this is optional but it's just gonna make it look neater so after that what we're gonna wanna do here is use our function so let's make another variable called integer people years since we're gonna be using this to output our final product remember this is a brand new variable that we're just making right now people years equals the function dog years times whatever the user input it so here is the one thing that you want to pay close attention to what we're doing here is taking the number of years that the user inputs right here and using it in our function dog years right here so say whatever they enter say they enter a one it's going to take that one and times it by seven and output it 
and whatever that number is, it's now going to hold the value of people, people years. So now let's output our final product. Type in C out for output, and let's just type your dog is leave a space. Let me move this over and type in people years. And what this will do, finally we'll write your dog is and then give whatever number that this calculated. So let's go ahead and save this. Compile and run. Hopefully I don't have any errors. Uh oh. Good, I don't. Alright, enter your dog's age. Let's uh say my dog is 13. Press enter. And it says your dog is 91. And there you have it. What it did, again, times thir 13 by 7. Took that 13 times the by 7 with the user input. And finally output a your dog is and gave the product of our function. So that's how you can use a C++ function to return a value. And that's very useful in many programs. So study this. It's very important. Study how you can get user input and how to use the functions to make a return function. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, subscribe. And I hope to see you next time.